We're set up. Hope it's another good night. This is the view we got. day three and we just woke up and we are going to start packing and getting ready for our first trip but our views this morning absolutely incredible morning you're all even sooner now uh we're packing up and then we're gonna head out. I think we woke them up. You guys left, you guys left your uh, back door open last night. And May not even stay it. in the hotel and tonight. Back That's right. Right after I it. Look at that. <laughs> but I, was like, I was like, I don't know if they're like, they're definitely mad. <laughs> it was freezing this morning when we woke up, so and I had to charge my phone so we'd turn the car on. But Trey's new exhaust is pretty loud. I think they're mad. Yeah. You're in the parking lot though. All right. You know, there's so many people sleeping in this parking lot. There's a bunch of, like, uh, But I mean, like, you, and stuff. you chose to come and sleep here. Like, if someone next to us, uh, especially because we were here first and they decided to park right next to us. They're definitely not early morning people either. Like, he was, as soon as we were outside of our vehicle, he's, you guys moving? <laughs> She's probably like, go talk to him, go talk to him. Like if someone did that to us, it's like, well, we chose, we chose <laughs> right? to fucking sleep in the parking lot. <laughs> like, you know, you can't really get mad. Anyway, we're gonna get ready. Pack. Just a little charger. 
This is actually what we use to jump the boat with. So it's got two USB ports on it, so you can charge stuff from it. And I'm gonna pack it because the uh, GoPro 360 is only at like 25%. Oh, you didn't charge it? No, I like, it's kind of like a cell phone where you want to drain, kill the battery completely. See, I never knew if that was true. I didn't know if that was true or not either. I heard it and I was like, but how does that make sense? Well, to me it kind of does make sense to like go through like a complete cycle, but it don't make it doesn't make sense why they wouldn't charge it 100% from the beginning. Yeah. Exactly. So. Maybe they do. But then they're testing it all. Well, they don't test the ones that they send you. Yeah, it's okay. You tried. But I'm gonna pack that. I'm gonna also pack a my camel bag. That I bought a year ago, so I never used. Now we're gonna pack some snacks. So I'm gonna case these beef jerky because it was really good. The Sea Boys windbreakers. Micah, Micah just kept bringing us stuff that we could have. So we got windbreakers hoodies, which is really like it came in clutch because I didn't pack any jackets like normal. One of the many excursions that they give here are horseback riding. So that's what we're trying to do is get on this trail before they get on because apparently there's tons of horse poop all over the trails. All right, change of plans. Because we had we had a couple stop us and ask us where Iceberg Lake Trail was, and. Uh, well, then it got me intrigued because I was like, well, the only reason why I wanted to go to Cracker Lake was because it looked really pretty. But then we're doing a really pretty lake after Cracker, so I was like, well, might as well, I guess, do something that we haven't, that we're not going to do. I don't know. <laughs> if that makes sense. So now we got to load up the Yukon and drive there. Sticking with our original goal, oh, it begins. So this is... They said there was a, a lot of horse poop on this trail. So we decided to stick with Cracker because uh, we're right next to it. And they said, so I went and asked uh, some tour guides who were super sweet. And they said that they're... Those are actually both their favorites. Um, and so it was kind of hard to decide. She loved Iceberg, he loved Cracker Lake. So we're like, well, we've already liked to be hiking because it's already like almost 8 a.m. And so we decided to just stick with this one. So, so far the trail's really nice. It's just really muddy and full of a lot of poop. I kind of jinxed myself yesterday talking about bears and there so happened to be two, like a family of foxes right next to us. So hopefully, hopefully we don't run into anything because we don't have anything to defend us. We got these whistles. We on. have a whistle, but we don't have bear spray. We don't have a knife. I don't know if you can have a gun. We don't have that either. Don't is it illegal here to kill a bear? I'm sure it is, yeah. Well, I mean, like, in the purposes of getting mauled. No. It's only been, like, I don't know, like, ten minutes. And we could hear him wrestling around down there in, like, the weeds. And I was like... I was like, that's gotta be like a deer or something. It, it sounded like a good size to me. And then two mountain goats pop up. It would be nice if these two met up. 
somewhere, like some trails do, but these are on complete opposite ends of one another. Do you think the horses just get nervous shits? And like, because uh -huh. they, they only started pooping at the beginning of the trail. So like, do you think they get nervous? Look how big that food is. Nah, uh, I don't know. Like anxiety? Nervous. Yeah, and then they poop and then they're like, all right, we're, we're good. I get that way. <laughs> In the morning, before work, every day, I get the anxious shits. <laughs> Caffeine hits you every fucking time. Every fucking time. Joking. I'd never leave you guys behind. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I'm messing around with the uh, 360, getting the uh, shot in here. I'm excited to see how this camera edits and uh, how the 360 videos edit as well. You can do like an ultra wide lens is what I got on there right now. But Stephanie rigged it on my backpack so it doesn't shake back and forth as bad. Hey hon, how, how long do you think we've been hiking for? It's nine, so an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and it's mostly just been, yeah, a lot of this uh, thick stuff, and then you got some wide open trails that are pretty nice. Uh, this is like the first real open section that we've had where we can see the side of the mountain. It's, in, it's incredible. And we were hiking up, like switchbacks up the side of them. But I think we dropped back down again. I'm not sure where we're at in elevation. We just passed the first hiker that we've seen on this trail in like the hour and a half that we've been on it. And uh, she uh, apparently overnighted out here. And I can only imagine waking up in the morning to this lake. That's probably the way to do it is to uh, hike out to the spot 
stay overnight, hike back the next morning, and then go to the next spot you want to hike out on. We are still trekking along. We passed four more hikers. I said it was about a mile or so. So I'm getting excited. I'm getting wore out. So if you've got your hands on your hips, we're feeling the burn. All this sitting in the car is catching up to us now. But this is absolutely beautiful. Look at the water falling off the rocks over there. Looks like we're about to go over that ridge line. It's going to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there it is, in all its beauty. Right head back. I want to get closer to it. It's been a really good hike, actually. It's not. It's kind of a lot of uh, diverse stuff. It wasn't straight up a hill or straight down a hill so it made it pretty easy the trail very well kept up with well I 
back is all sweaty and my shoulders are sweaty where the backpack was sitting at. It feels kind of weird. Should I pop this? The blister? Yeah. Nice. I, got, I got a bunch of rocks in my boot, so I'm gonna take really? my boot. Yeah, my left boot for some reason. Got a bunch of rocks in it. It's been fun. There's like a thousand pound moose down here that you can't even see anymore. It's like hiding in the grass. The uh, wildlife here is real active. You just, just poop in a bucket? I didn't even ask it. <laughs> That's good. He's right down there in that brush. He's been, he's been fairly calm so far. Uh, the horse just passed by and he just kind of lost some walk by. So I'm sure he's used to people hiking out here. Yeah, look at him. You can kind of see him. Looks like he's laying down in, in the shade. So you're saying the water gets its color from a mineral. They're all over the place down here. They also said that they recently had a heat wave, so a lot of the uh, snow has melted off and the water is actually fairly high right now. And one of the guys that we talked to up there said he was here about two years ago and there's hardly even a lake here. So we might have just got it perfect timing again. We've been doing really good with timing of our trips. Guys, we're, we're dying. I'm exhausted. We're almost back. We're walking through like that one mile track of horse shit. So, should be there at any time now. We're gonna go to the gift shop Get some cold waters, get some ice, and then head to another trail that we were wanting to bust out. The trail itself isn't too hard. Elevations that are really bad. That'll get you. Yeah. Not near as bad as what we've seen in Maine, but the uh, length is what's getting us. Yeah. That's, when we hiked to the top of Maine, it was kind of just straight up. It was just straight up. Straight up, straight back down. It was only like four hours. This is. 
it is. We, we knocked it out real quick. But this, they were saying on the uh, app, Trail Views app, that it's seven hours. All trails. All yeah. trails? Yeah. yeah, the app called All Trails that we use quite a bit. I didn't have a chance to download it before we got here. But it comes in handy, that's for sure. If you, I did. I yeah. Saved a lot of trails. Yeah. But we're trying to knock out the uh, real hard ones before Grandma shows up. Look at that. That was a car. I ain't seen one of them in about eight hours. We made it. Doesn't Stephanie look good with red lips? I need water. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, uh, you don't have to come up here and go hiking. You, you could come up here and just relax. Or... <laughs> yeah, this is a phenomenal spot to relax. You got a lake that you can go fishing in. <laughs> I tried to wave them down. Look at this thing. Alright, we're back on the road. We got ice cream. So you got post pops. And I think we're done with hiking for like uh, a hot minute at least. People are enjoying 50. You're going 50? I don't know. I ain't in the rust. I was eating my ice cream. Well, it's only going to take us 12 minutes to get there. 